Hi, I'm Susie. Welcome to Iron Deficient Chef. One of the most important things on the planet is the seed. Seeds are so precious and you know they're a billion dollar industry. Genetically modified food is a hot topic right now and I don't think it's as simple as profit versus ethics. Whether or not you approve of genetically modified food, you may have eaten some in the last couple of weeks without even knowing it because lots of genetically modified crops go into processed foods that we eat every single day, like the oil in pretzels or the soya lecithin in chocolate. Now I've heard that genetically modified crops can be used to make medicine and that perhaps it's the only way to feed the ever-growing population of the world. But you know, I'm not entirely sure if the sick and the starving people around the world is what's really driving this industry. Genetically modified crops seem to represent the worst extremes in industrialised farming. And I believe that we should respect the land and the sun and the water and the seed. Now to sport, we cross live to Kitchen Stadium for the snackdown of the century where reporter Susie Spoon is ringside with none other than Mr. Non-GM himself, King Bean. Spoon, how's it going down there? Oh, thanks Tony. Yeah, well things are really heating up down here. We're only moments away from the fight and I'm lucky enough to get to talk to King Bean himself, Mr. Non-Genetically Modified. So, Mr. Bean, I was just wondering, how do you think you're going to go in the fight against Burger tonight? Uh, I think my chances are pretty good, Spoon. I've been training hard and I'm pretty fit. I'm high in complex carbos and a good source of folic acid, magnesium, iron, protein and potassium. Yeah, right. And what have you got to say to your critics who think you'd be better off genetically modified? No way, Spoon. Not me. I'm clean. I don't do that shit, man. I'm running at 100% bean power. And anyway, a lot of my fans are vegetarian, and I don't think they'd approve of me shooting up pig genes into my eyeballs. Do you? Oh, no, I don't think they'd like that at all. Well, more from the bean after the fight. But for now, it's back to you in the studio, Tony. Oh, thanks, Spoon. More with that story later on tonight. This has been Tony Nobson for Iron Deficient News. Good night. Mixing it round, wide for sound. You're watching Susie Spoon on the I'm Deficient Chef. Word to the mother. Oh, later, haters. Here's a simple recipe for a quick protein-packed bean salad that's rich with iron and truly delicious. First you need two cups of red kidney beans and a diced bunch of flat leaf parsley, one small red onion, cucumber and a red capsicum. Capsicum's beautiful for the colour but also that's that crisp, fresh taste is just perfect in the salad. So the beans are kind of chunky and the cucumber and the capsicum just really give it a lift. Then the, also the avocado in it just gives it a bit of moisture. It's just something nice and soft. Just a little bit of mint, one clove of garlic, big drizzle of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic, and a good squeeze of lemon juice. It really does need heaps of lemon juice. I'm gonna squeeze both halves into it. Yeah, if you saw that at a barbie, you'd have one of them, wouldn't you? It's very fresh and healthy. I like it. Thumbs up.